All parties in the matter of Anastasio versus Nolte. Step forward. Carmelina Anastasio is suing her daughter's father, Jerry Nolte, for unpaid rent and for property damage. Okay, there are two parts to this case, Miss Anastasio. This used to be your boyfriend, you have a child together, you sort of were on and off and then separated for a long period of time. At some point, you indicated in your complaint that Mr. Nolte needed a place to stay, you had a guest house, your tenant had just left, you extended an invitation to him to come and move into the guest house because perhaps you thought things would get better between the two of you. How old is the child that you have together? She's nine. Mr. Nolte moved into your house. Where had you been living, Mr. Nolte? I live anywhere I can, usually. I don't have much family, so wherever I'm working, sometimes I get roommates at the place I'm working at. Mm, right. And on what date did you move into this guest house? Was it a guest house or just a room? It was whole house. I'm not, I didn't, look at me. When I'm looking at you, you'll answer me. Sorry. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Is this a guest house or a room? It's a room. It's kind a room. of guest house. I, I no, I don't understand that. Is it a guest house? Look at me. This is not easy. Is it a guest house or a room in the house? It's a room in the house. And how many rooms are there in the house? Four, including the one. That's with the one, including the remodel. Look, look at me. Don't think of where I'm going with this, I'm Mr. Nolte. I'm looking at you. Don't think of where I'm going. Miss Anastasio lives in a house with your nine-year-old. Tell me what rooms there are. You have a living room? Well, if you're talking living room and kitchen and all that, yes. there's like six. Good, so then let's get to them. You have a living room. You have a kitchen. You have a, and th four bedrooms. And four bedrooms. And a laundry room. So there are four bedrooms. Now, you keep in touch with Miss Anastasio, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, have to, we have a kid. Good, and does she rent this house or own this house? She owns it. How long has she owned it? Maybe 14 years, 15. Now, there are four bedrooms, so, so your daughter had one bedroom? Yes. And Miss Anastasio had the other bedroom? Yes. And you had one bedroom? Yes. Who was in the fourth bedroom? Her other son. How old is he? I'm not sure how old exactly he is. Older or younger than your child? Much older. An adult. How old is your son? 23. What does he do? He's on disability, he's autistic. So he's home? Yeah, but this isn't the house he rents. Just... <sighs> Sorry. You know that I'm not buying this. You understand that? Do you understand that? Because there's either something wrong with you, and I don't think there's anything wrong with you, or there's something wrong with him. He just told me that you had a four-bedroom house. Mm -hmm. He identified the four bedrooms, and he told me who lived in each one of the bedrooms. He lived in one of them, your son lived in one of them, daughter lives in one, and you lived in one. Is that what you're telling me? Sir! Yes. I always know which to start with. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes. All right. So let's get real with each other. Okay. Okay? Okay. Now, when you moved into this room in her house, did you tell her that you would pay her rent? No. Were you working? Yes. Who were you working for? Uh, at the time, I was working for Griffin Trailers. Were you making any kind of money? I was making decent money. I was a welder, so... And did you contribute in any way to the household? Yes. Tell me what you contributed. Uh, food. Okay, uh, tell me about that. Our, our daughter. Well, tell me exactly what you did to contribute when you were living in the exactly. house. Exactly. I, like, I don't have any evidence to show I that... Did, I'm just asking you. Yeah, I provided for myself and my daughter. Tell me how. Money. You bought clothes. You bought food. You paid electric. Hmm. You paid... I just want you to tell me how. I just told you. I provided for myself if and that, my daughter. That if that don't tell say, you nothing, I'm that, sorry. Well, that doesn't answer my I'm question. I'm sorry, then. I can't tell you anything else. Okay. Well, then I'm going to tell this to you, Miss Anastasio. Since I don't believe if a word that either one of you were telling me, I don't believe what you wrote in your complaint that you rented him a guest house. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sending you back to where you came from for your $5,000. Your case is dismissed without prejudice. Go back to small claims court in what state? Indiana. In Indiana. Thanks, we're done.